storm has left hundreds in the dark. NV Energy confirming 1,300 are still without power. Action News reporter Moss Society is live near Lindell and Desert Inn with the cause on that massive outage. Massa. Trisha, there are multiple MV Energy crews here on the scene working to get that power back on. The cause of all of this, that pole caught fire, it is lit up. There are two utility workers there right now. It is charred and blackened at the top. It's been a very busy night for them, but not just for them, but for firefighters as well. The storm has caused a lot of problems. A woman trapped in a wash, seeking safety on a couch, surrounded by rushing water at Trop and Jones. Clark County firefighters strap her into a harness, cell phone video recording as they lead her to safety. Tonight, falls first strong storm from Jones and DI to Flamingo and Valley View. Cars partially submerged as many areas got slammed with up to an inch of rain in as little as 30 minutes. See the curve. Truly, it's all flow. Bolts lit up the sky near the Rio, but on Decatur and Edna, it was lights out. Cars slowing down, taking turns at the intersection. Hundreds more homes losing power. The culprit, a pole fire. Tonight, some residents clearly frustrated. It went off, then it came back on, then it went off again, then it came back on, then it went off, and it's been off ever since. And some good news tonight. Crew workers here tell me they hope to have the power back on for most people by midnight. For now, we are live on Lindell. Masa Saidi, Channel 13 Action News. All right, Masa, thank you for the latest. And this kind of flash flooding can easily turn deadly. Remember, turn around, don't drown. It only takes a foot of water to wash your vehicle away. Getting stuck on a washed out road can get you in trouble with the law as well. And your bank account, too. Drivers can be fined $2,000 if they ignore roadblocks and have to be rescued.